A brief explanation of every time period that has been on Earth so far. First, we enter the Precambrian phase, and this begins with the Hadean Eon, which was from 4.6 to 4 billion years ago. This had the formation of Earth, development of the first solid crust, and the formation of the Moon. In the Archaeon Eon, which is from 4 to 2.5 billion years ago, we've got the first continents, the first life, and the stromatolites, which I talked about in this video. Next, we've got the Protozeric. This was from 2.5 to 541 million years ago, and this had a dramatic rise of oxygen, more complex life, the first supercontinent, continent like Rodinia and multicellular organisms. Next, we go on to the next period of time. We've got the Paleozoic. The Paleozoic is made up of six different periods, starting off with the Cambrian. Now, the Cambrian was from 541 to 485 million years ago. This gave us basically a big boom of life and diversification amongst the oceans. Second, we've got the Ordovician from 485 to 444 million years ago. It's when we had the first plants and fungi on land and the first true fish and vertebrates. And bam, it all went down the hill with the ice age. Up next, we've got the Silurian. Now, the Silurian lasted from 444 to 419 million years ago. The Ice Age was no more, and now we have the jawed fish and the vascular plants, things like horsetail ferns. Next, we've got the Devonium from 419 to 359 million years ago. This was the age of fish, the first land mammals, forests, yep, forests, and an extinction again. Boom. Next, we've got the Carboniferous, 359 to 299 million years ago. This gave us our first swampy forests, which nowadays we use as coal, <laughs> reptiles and amphibians, and big bugs from oxygen. And finally in the Paleozoic we have got the Permian, this was 299 to 252 million years ago. This gave us the Pangaea supercontinent, the reptiles and the first dinosaurs, and the Great Dying, which killed off 96% of all life, and I talked about both of these in these two videos. Next we're on to Mesozoic, or the age of the reptiles slash dinosaurs, and we've got Triassic, which is 252 to 201 million years ago. This gave us dinosaurs, early mammals, pterosaurs, Pangaea was splitting apart, and another mass extinction. Next we've got the Jurassic period, which lasted 201 to 145 million years ago. This is when dinosaurs truly started to flourish, marine reptiles began booming, birds started to grow, and minor extinction. Finally, we've got the Cretaceous. Now, up until this point, flowers had not existed, and the continents were now drifting into their current positions that we know today. And finally, the Cretaceous ended with the Chicxulub collision. This caused a mass extinction, wiping out all non-avian dinosaurs of the rest to evolve smaller and later on into similar things like birds. And finally, we're getting closer to home now. We've got the Cenozoic. This begins with the Paleogene, which is 66 to 23 million years ago. This is when mammals began to dominate, whales began to evolve, and more birds. There were a lot of birds at this time. And next we had Neogene, 23 to 2.6 million years ago. This gave us the early hominids, which are our relatives, the grasslands were expanding, a cooling climate, and this eventually led to an ice age. And finally we've got the Quaternary period, this is from 2.6 million years ago until present day. This gave us the evolution of us, modern humans, major climate change and extinctions, and human civilization. Subscribe for more, and if you have any ideas, please post them in the comments.